guys what's up this is me hardik we are i geeks blog and today we are going to learn how to use chat gpt on our macbooks or shall i call it mac gpt now there are two ways to go about it and first way is very simple and known to everybody you just need to go to your browser and look for chat gpt once you are inside the open ai website you will find a tab which asks you to try chat gpt once you click on it you'll have to log in your email credentials or else you can also continue with your google id or microsoft account here i'm continuing with my google id and that way i can straight away start using my chat gpt and ask any question to the ai that i want or else it could also write an essay for you now that is how everybody is going to use it but what if i have a macbook and i want to use chat gpt on my system as an app then let me show you how Firstly you just need to go to Google and look for Mac GPT that will route you to a website called gumroad.com made by Jody Bruen now as it is a third party operation you need to name a fair price to purchase this app but on the other hand you also can put zero in the amount section and purchase the app after that you just need to put in your email id you need to go to your mail id and then look for the mail which came from the website and then you need to view content over there Once you are rerouted to the website, you can download your Mac GPT from there. It will just take a few seconds to download the zip file, and then you can use the application. Once you open the zip folder, your application would be available to use. Once your login procedure is over, you can start using Chat GPT just like you use it on the Open AI website. And now we'll check in the native option, which gives you the much more fluid experience with Chat GPT. To do this, you need to click on the native button provided on the top right corner of the screen. It will be asking you for an Open AI API key. Click on the option over here. How do I get an API key? And then you need to click on User Settings. Now you need to log in again. Now over here, I would like to suggest, strongly suggest, that you use the same email ID throughout the procedure. If you have used a certain email ID in the first place, it should be the same email ID which you use in the last place. Over here, you need to create a new security key by clicking on the tab. Now you need to copy this API key. and then you need to go back to your mac gpt app and paste the key over there and submit now this way you will have your personal chat box with chat gpt and this way your entire experience can be more enriching and more seamless now over here it is very important for me to tell you that chat gpt officially does not have any app for any operating systems mac gpt over here is also a third party app so you need to take your decision accordingly so that was mac gpt app for you and i hope it comes in handy and of course if at all you are facing any difficulties with mac gpt you can always write in the comment section below or else i'll also have a blog link in the description box to make things easier for you And another thing which goes without saying is that you need to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click on that bell icon so that you get our notifications regularly and keep on sharing our video and spreading the love. And while you are at it, don't forget to go to App Store and download our IGB app. This is me Hardik, we are iGeeks blog. I'll see you next time till then. Take care. God bless.